I have in my hand the Panasonic TV uh, remote control. So these are replacement remote controls that we sell with low cost shipping directly from freetv.ie. So the idea of this is if you lose your remote control for your Panasonic TV, um, you can just buy this remote off us and it'll guaranteed 100% work with your TV. So what do you do when you get it? Well, with the vast majority of Panasonic TVs, particularly the most recent ones, you simply uh, put batteries into the remote control, aim it at the TV, you can turn the TV on, off, buttons, it'll work automatically. And in the vast majority of cases, that's exactly what will happen. Now, if that's not the case, it's not a crisis because the next step, uh, which will generally fix that problem, uh, is, is very, very straightforward. And what we've done is we're just including a single sheet uh, with each of the remotes here, just to keep it as simple as possible. So we're just going to spell out the remotes here. So we'll just go through the steps here. So step one is we come along and we make sure the TV is turned on initially. Okay. And what we're going to do then is we press the blue and the red button here and we press them and hold them in for, um, uh, for uh, uh, about three seconds or so. Okay. And uh, what will happen then is the power button will flash twice. And what happens here is that we point the, um, towards the TV and we hold down the power button until the TV turns off. So what we have here is we have the pointing at the TV. So what will be happening now is that the remote control says, okay, there's loads of versions of the Panasonic TV. I bet it's, bet it's this particular version. And it'll try that version. It'll have a series of number codes inside it that corresponds to a particular range of Panasonic TVs. So if it doesn't turn off, what will happen is three seconds later, it pulls the next code out of its memory and tries it again. And eventually it will get the code that's specific for your older version of the Panasonic TV. And when that happens, the TV will turn off. And at that exact moment, all you do is you release the remote control, the, the power button here. And what happens then is it comes along and it says, hang on, the last code that I had must be the correct code for this TV. And it saves it into memory. And then what you can do is you've now paired your remote control with the TV. And all you can do then is just come along and test and all the buttons should work perfectly. So just so you go through that stage there, it works perfectly. But then you discover for whatever reason, one or two of the um, the functions won't work. For instance, you can't bring up the menu. Well, what you would do again is, now you won't need to do this, 90% of pe people, the first option will work in terms of it works out of the thing. The next 95% of people, it'll work directly from uh, the step I just described. But just say there was a particular function that wouldn't work. What we do at that point is we just come along, we grab the red and the blue remote control, we press it again, and then what we do is um, the light flashes, and what we'll do then is we'll say we we'll go and we press the menu button. So the menu button comes along, we're pressing on it, we're holding it down, and all of a sudden, after we'll say maybe 10 or 15 seconds the menu comes up on the screen at that point we can lift our finger off the menu button and what it says is oh hang on the menu button has been released it must have been the last code i tried is the right one for this tv it saves it to memory and that's it now there's a final step to this where there's actually learning functions on it I won't go into the detail of it here, but basically what it is, it's just covered on the sheet. This is something that's rarely used. But what you, what you could do is you could actually, if you had your original remote control, you can actually aim this remote against the other one. And what it can do is it can copy over functions from one remote to the other by putting this into a mode that's saying, I'm willing to learn, um, we'll say the volume thing here. If you press the volume on this and you, and you press the volume button on the original remote control, it sends over a signal that says, this is how it works volume. And you can build up one by one the remote things on it. Now that's a pretty specialized use of it. I don't think generally home users would do it. But sometimes guys um, doing installs in, in uh, hotels or um, hospitals, things like that, can be trying to customize the remote specifically like that. So it is a function that's available on it, but 99.9% .9 of people won't be using it. So it really is good, but the one thing about this is it is guaranteed it will work with your Panasonic TV, simply because the codes for every single Panasonic TV that has ever been made is built into this. So you should be able to do this uh, directly out of the box, but if not, it will work very quickly. And the setup time on these, you can see, is even if it doesn't work immediately, you'll have it up and running within one to two minutes. So that's it anyway, an overview of the Panasonic TV remote control available directly from freetv.ie.